What's up, guys? Now, if there ever is a reason for mankind to invent smell a vision this is the this is the time where you want the smell of vision because this what I'm about to make you is Shani's very authentic Italian marinara sauce because tonight we're gonna be making us a lasagna Woo. oh yeah we're making us a lasagna and because of that, I need to make some homemade marinara sauce. Now, I, I, I am not pulling out the ragu. I'm not pulling out the Newman's own. I'm not pulling out the prego. I am making my own damn sauce. Because that's how it should be. Now, if you don't believe in making your own sauce, that's on you. That's on you, but you don't know what you're missing not making your own damn sauce. And I'm, I'm showing you my recipe that was taught to me by my very, 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 very Italian grandmother and passed down to my mother and passed down to me and it, it, it just has to be, you know, this, this is something that, you know, been going down in the family, these little techniques, these things, some things you may not have even thought about doing. But this is like the greatest damn sauce that you will ever have. It is flavorful and it is going to be cooked for hours before I even prepare the lasagna. So think of the flavor town of all the herbs and the spices and the tomatoes and the vegetables. They're all coming together in a blend of sexual, enticing, tasty goodness. And, and the first thing you must do is, is turn on the oven. So we're going to turn on the oven. And we're going to put it on a low, like six we don't want it we want a little heat not too much right right i think that's how we want to do it here and then we just put a little bit of the evoo the 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 extra virgin olive oil we got to put that in this pot here because because that also contains the flavor goodness that you want. And you want to put quite a bit. I'd say probably a third of a cup of oil in that. And don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That is needed. Because like I said, flavor. Oh, yes. Where are you? Where are you? Where's the sausage? Sausage. Did it disappear? Oh, I found it. It's okay, William. I got it there. Uh, we gotta cook some Beyond Sausage down. So we're just gonna put that in while we're chopping just to get some flavor of the Italian sausage and the oil. That's why I wanted a hefty amount of oil. But these are like plant-based links. It's completely vegetarian, but we want some Italian sausage flavor in that and some good amount of protein. So we're just tearing this bag open. Oh, it smells delightful. It does smell like Italian sausage. We got Put that in there, like so. Put that in there, like so. So while we're chopping, these are gonna brown up a little bit for us. It'll be good deliciousness for all of us. Where 
is my chopping knife? Oh, chopping knife. Oh, there you are. Now, I want to tell you something about a good Italian sauce. It needs an, an onion, okay? It needs an onion. Not any other kind of onion. It just needs the yellow onion, okay? Don't get a red. Red is good to eat raw, okay? White is good in like where you want a subtle onion taste. You want a good yellow Vidalia sweet onion because it's pungent enough to like permeate into the tomato sauce in amazing goodnessness. So I'm just gonna cut this roughly in chunks, but we're gonna cut that off. <clears throat> like so, slid it down in the middle like so, and just peel the skin away, we peel the skin, we peel the skin of the onion, of the onion, we peel the skin, we peel the skin, of the onion. Okay, all right. Good peeled Vidalia onion, right? Wow. Come here, little spittoon bag. You're gonna hold the onion peels. There you go. So we're just gonna cut this onion here in half. And we're gonna quarter it. Cause I want chunky onion in my sauce, okay? I don't want those little baby diced onions. I want some chunks of onion in my spaghetti sauce. Why? Cause trust me, it's desirable. Mm. It is delicious in your spaghetti sauce. It is needed because it's almost like the onions become caramelized in the tomato sauce and it's just such delicious flavor town that you can't possibly believe. Just the whole onion we want in there, okay? But right now, we're waiting for Mr. Sausage to do its job that it wants to do. How you doing, Sausage? How you guys doing? You guys ain't making much noises. You aren't splattering that much. They're like, it's okay. We're liking it in here. We just chill. So, we got the onion chopped. The next thing. A little bit of green onion for like a subtler, like herbier, like flavor. And you want to get to the dark greens because those are also flavor. They're more like a chivey taste to it. Rosemary, we got this. I am looking for the garlic. Now I think I'm just gonna use the rest of this garlic clove, so excuse moi. Well I unsheath the rest of this garlic clove. There's a one a clove. There's a two a clove. There's a three, a four, and five cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna, you know, pop the garlic in submission. 
like the cook we are. Just take all your frustration out. A troll is bothering me and talking crap behind my back. Oh, oh look it, I have a garlic here. Guess what I can do with a garlic? Evil troll, go! Ah, ah, ah. There we go, you see? See? It takes away your frustrations. Or maybe you just like to smash things like the Incredible Hulk. Huh? Either way, man. It's all about what you want to do, man. It's all about what you want to do. Let's see. Oh, you want to smell these sausages? Oh, it smells almost like pepperoni. It smells so good. Oh, so good. Babe. Yeah. You want to smell this? Sure. It's, oh, it's almost like pepperoni in here. Really? Yes. Pepper? Are you serious? Yes. I'll be impressed with that. <laughs> if you say it, it's true. So, let's see. It's going to be like almost like a pepperoni. Oh, my God. I never tried these before. Oh. They're different looking. Oh, the smell. Isn't it like a pepperoni almost? I would say that's pretty much dead on. It's like a strong pepperoni smell, yeah. It's really yummy. Oh. Master that's Chef. all going in Master to the Chef oil. Candy. Thank you. I love it. You're pretty. Pretty dull. We'll leave those in. This is a gap. I guess. For the amount of chopping oh, time yeah. we shall do. Now, I am deshelling the garlic and we're going to shell the garlic in the mighty garlic ways <laughs> that is what we're gonna do oh oh yes you gonna put a bit of coriander in there Oi. Oh my God. I'm not English, I'm Italian. Oh, that's right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm British, man. Well, why would you want to put coriander in tomato sauce, No, you could, no it does, that would mess it up. Yeah, that would be disgusting. I agree with that. Don't do I that. case you don't know what coriander is it's cilantro and no you don't put that in spaghetti sauce and if you do you're the devil uh -huh. that is not how you do an italian sauce i agree with that not even close i totally agree oh uh. uh. Yeah. We'll chop in the onion back and forth, back and forth. We put them, the garlic together so it's easier to chop. Just move it out there so you get all the fits. And you take your fit hand flat down on this side and this side, and it's just a wrist movement like that. And you just go to the side and you observe the little pieces of garlic that you're chopping. The bigger ones you go for, the littler ones you don't go for. And then you just go back and forth. And that's how you make perfectly chopped garlic. We have the garlic. That we don't need. This we're gonna need. We have two mushrooms that we're gonna mince a little bit. Mince up. Because the mushrooms are just basically there for like a little flavor pump, pump me up. You know, it's not there to, you know, you know, bite into. That's what the onions are for. No, the mushrooms on the other hand is for just a little like woodiness, you know. Plus mushrooms and rosemary go so beautifully together. And you really don't want to mess up that beautifulness, you know. Mushrooms. Go over here, thank you. And it gives like a little bit of meaniness to the sauce, I guess you could say, with mushrooms. 
is good. But we're just breaking the mushrooms up. Now this technique, I'm holding the tip of it in this and I'm just bringing it down to like bigger pieces. That's another way you can chop really good. By the way, there we go. We got the little mushroom bits there. Our little, uh, our little uh, garlic over here. Our onions, our green onions, and then I have my little pot package of Kalamata olives that is in olive oil and thyme, so it has extra flavor in it. Oh yeah. These are looking great. That looks so good. Let me get that over there. Like so. And Kalamata olives are Flavor Town olives, and they're delicious. I'm gonna try these. I wanna know how these taste, but that's a Kalamala olive. It's like, kind of like a whiny looking olive. Mm. Oh my God. Baby, you need to try this olive. It's so good. It's got thyme and olive oil on it. Yeah. It's so good. It's gonna be so good in the sauce. <laughs> Now what you can also add in your sauce, I don't have it, but I would if I did, is you can take one little sardine filet and put that in your sauce and that will also create a lot of good flavor. Yeah, aren't they good? Yeah, that's a ticket to flavor time. Right? Very, very pungent flavor. Yum. It's like really good. I'm a big fan of pie models. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> we have all of them here. The olives, the mushrooms, the garlic, the onions, the green onions, and then also right here in this bag is some tomatoes and then we have the parsley but I don't chop it up like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sausage out of the oil oh smells so good this oil Yum. it's like a pepperoni oil now yeah very strong pepperoni smell. Mm. It's delicious. And the first thing you want to do, actually, is take your tomato paste, actually, and put that in the pan first. Mm. Now, let me show you a good way how to take out the tomato paste out of the can. First of all, you have to do this. You have to taste the tomato paste with your tongue. Mm. Amazing, concentrated flavor. You take a butter knife, you don't take any, don't take a spoon, take a butter knife. And you go along the edge, like so, and that takes all the paste out really easily. Just keep sp stirring it around. And save the can because you're going to need it for water and you can go and stir up all the goodness in here. You don't want to waste this because it's a bunch of flavor. Like so. And you just want to cook down. Oh. Cook down the tomato paste a little bit. You want to cook that down a little bit get it a little brown get it a little black you know tomato paste is good huh. do you know how tomato paste is made actually no so they take like stewed tomatoes right 
And these little women from Italy, they, they, they take it outside their stewed tomatoes and they put it on this wooden table and they allow it to dry in the sun, right? And then they take these scrapers and they scrape it up and then they spread it all over the table again and let it dry again. And they keep doing that process until it gets to this beautiful paste. Wow, I didn't know that. That's cool. It's amazing awesome. how the Italians do it. Oh, it smells so good. Now's the time to drop that beautiful garlic. Oh yeah. Let me put this up a little bit. I wanna put this up all the way actually. I want heat. I'm gonna put the garlic in first with, with that. Now while we're waiting for this to cook up a little bit, we're gonna do the rosemary. And we're not even gonna cut it. We're just gonna take it by the woods, like so, and pull down. And then there's the top ones that you just kinda like pick at. But don't worry, they're like, oh, this is huge amount of rosemary. Nah, it's gonna cook down in the sauce and leave an amazing taste like you wouldn't believe. Trust me on this. I'm a professional. Amen. See? Clean. Yeah. Take it by the top and pull down. Boop. Clean. Oh, my smell. <laughs> Come here and smell this. This is the smell oh, is that the I've smell. been envisioning. Yeah. Oh, uh, since last night. This is smell. I've been smelling this in my nose. I love it. All right, let's, let's see. This is the smell. Oh my God. That is the smell of love. Yes. That's it. I love you. I love you. What an incredible woman she is, folks. All right. <laughs> yeah. You hear that popping? Ain't that romantic? Yeah. Oh. the rosemary cook down a little bit a little bit here Let's put this in might as well then we're gonna put the olives in good and then we'll take this Italian herbs paste it's just a good way how to like skip all the chopping I appreciate it. it's basil oregano parsley sea salt it's just good flavor town just a good like tablespoon or two is all you need oh And you see how the sauce is getting like this really deep red? That's what you want. You want it to be like really deep in a red color before you add your onions. See, there's even a color you want, a particular color. Like almost like a wine color, like those Kalamata olives you want the paste to get down to because it's essentially putting more flavor into the paste by cooking it hello Mick how are you I think that's about the color let's add the onions oh 
and you want your onion chunky, just trust me on this. It's just wonderful in the sauce, having your onion chunky. Unless you're not an onion fan, but if you are an onion fan, chunky. Always go with the chunk. Oh. And you see how the onions automatically absorb the tomato paste and start taking over the color. Not only does it take over the color, but it takes over the flavor, okay? The flavor. And wow. it is incredible. Can I testify to the smell in here? How is it, baby? I, 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 I have not smelled that for a long time, okay? Well, it's a blessing. So you just basically wait until the onions get softened which in this heat isn't going to take long at all. And you don't want to over -stir, stir. You just want to kind of let it sit, let it cook a little. Get that flavor all in there, in the goodness. You can smell what I'm cooking. Oh, see this, like I said, this is one of those episodes I wish they had smell-o-vision for because I completely would activate it for you guys so you can smell this. But this is gonna be huge for my lasagna. So I'm like, ooh, super excited for this. Super excited. Basically, let me teach you a little something about cooking. You want to stir it after the like the sizzling goes down a little bit. That's when you know you need to stir it. And then you just place it back. And then you hear the sizzling. It's kind of like popcorn. And when the sizzling goes down, then you stir it again. Let's see if we can observe this. It smells amazing. I just can't get over the smell. Tomorrow you're making lasagna. Ooh, cool. take my recipe. Do it, try it. You won't regret it. <sighs> oh, that's how I like my food. You see how it, the sizzling's going down now? That's when you know you should stir it. And then the sizzling goes up, you see? And that's a good way how to soften your onions real fast. There you go, place it, shake, shake it a little bit so they all flatten out. Observe in here till the sizzling goes down and then do it again. This is how you get taught as an Italian how to do it properly. You have to use all your senses in cooking. Not just throwing things in the pot. No, 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 no. You have to use all your senses. You have to use your hearing, your nose, your taste. You have to use it all. All of it. And don't salt and pepper anything yet. Don't do that. Wait until it's like almost done to add salt. Because the flavor is going to change as time goes by. Plus we're cooking that Italian sausage in it. So it's gonna be salty enough. So I don't think we're gonna need salt in the tomatoes, in the tomato sauce for the, for the only sheer purpose is I've made this so many times that I've never really added salt to my tomato sauce. Cause I, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, some people be like no to it, but in my opinion, I enjoy the natural flavor of the tomatoes without salt added. I just enjoy it that way. Amen. You see, it's 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 going down. So let's do it again. You see, they're almost softened to where I want it before I'll start adding. I'll do it one more time. 
And then I'll add the green onion and the um, mushrooms in this. And then we'll add the chopped tomatoes and the sauce. All of the sauces, by the way, are from Italy. Let me show you. We have this uh, Solo Pomodoro Muti. And then we have the Pommy chopped tomatoes. Now I only do this because it's like, I was spoiled, okay? I was spoiled in Italy. The first couple years of my life was actually in Italy, right? So I got used to the tomatoes of Italy because they grow the tomatoes straight on the volcanic soil of Mount Vesuvius. Same with the blood oranges. And it's just, I don't know. For some reason, volcanic soil just makes the best freaking like produce. It does. There's nothing better than that. There's nothing better than that. So I get spoiled by these flavors and my mom, she always used to splurge on sauces too. She couldn't help it. You know, once, once, once you get spoiled by Italy, you just can't help yourself. You know what I mean? So now we're gonna start with the green onions and the mushrooms, just fully put them in there. Don't worry. They'll be fine. You see how it's kind of like darkened the sauce? That's what you want. You want those brown bits in the sauce. Because that's just flavor to the sauce. And you can only do that with tomato paste. You can't do it with sauce. So you've got to remember the tomato paste. Always. Oh, how the hell am I still with those this? I'm used to the can. Baby. Yo. Aha. What's up? I got it up. Oh, you got it. That's what she said. Got, got to get the other one up. There we go. Like so. How do you open it? Does it show how to open it? It's like, no. We're not going to show you how to open it. Nope. Fuck it. Fine. You want to play me, box? We'll play each other. We'll, we'll just go straight, break into it with a knife. When always in doubt, get the knife. Oh. Get the knife. Oh, smell this. It's straight from Italy. Oh. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Imported products are better. Exactly. They really are. Oh, you smell that now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, we got some more. This one's a pull tab, thank God. Oh. I don't know, there's something about Italian tomatoes that you can't get anywhere else. Really, really, really. Now, you wanna save this can, cause we're gonna add some water to it because this needs some moisture. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna put this down to five and I'm gonna put water in both these cans and stir them up for you guys. What a 
baby girl. Now, like the tomato paste, like I said, just stir it around so you can get all the tomato bits off the can because that's flavor. You don't want to waste that. And then dump it in. See, pretty much cleared the whole can. Then we stir it one last time. Oh. And then we gotta do one last thing, and that's cut up the sausages and put it on, and then leave it on the stove until we're ready for the delicious lasagna. Oh, mm. I can't wait. And you can stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be gaming the whole entire time. So I'll be giving you updates to the sauce as we go along. So we're going to cut the sausage up. I figured I'll cut it on a bias. Kind of make it a little fancy. And when I say by a bias, I cut it on an angle so it's kind of like an oval shape instead of a circular shape. You cut it on the side at first and you just continue to cut it on the side. And it's just, I, it's a beautiful cut, cutting your sausages on a bias. It really is a beautiful cut and it tastes good, really good. It feels good in the mouth. Like perfect bite size. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh yeah, there's one thing else I forgot to put in here that we need to do. All right, we're done with the chopping. Let's put that sausage in deep in there. Oh yeah. Let the flavor city begin. Today I am cooking lasagna, but I showed you in this video how to make my homemade like Italian, 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 and I mean Italian because this is how my grandparents taught me type of uh, marinara. This, this comes straight from Italy, this recipe, so. Oh, just break it up. That's what you want to do. You just want to break it up. Because you really don't want to break your parsley. I'll get these stems out. Oh, but you can actually eat these stems. They're really good for your stomach and digestion. By the way. All right, and don't worry, you say that's a lot of sauce. Don't worry, it's gonna be cooking down all day. This is just the beginning of it. But like I said, I'm gonna be updating you with this all day. Mm. Mm. That parsley is delicious. You want to try it? A parsley? It's still good. No, I'm good. I know okay. It. I know it's good. All right, guys. I'm going to get my gaming stream going. You stay tuned. Around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be starting the lasagna and I'll show you how to put it together. And this is going to be so awesome. So I'm going to clean up around here, clean the sides of the pot and we'll fix this all up and stay tuned to my gaming stream. See you guys.